All right, so surface area of composite figures is what we're going to be dealing with um, now and also volume of composite figures. So the surface area of composite figures is when we add the areas of the surfaces that we can physically touch. Whereas the volume of composite figures, we add the volumes of the uh, composite figures or the different figures together. Okay, so for each of these, we're going to find the surface area and volume of the figures below. Um, looking at number 99, let's do surface area. So we're going to do the surface area of the cone first. And on that cone, we cannot touch the base. We can only touch the lateral area of our cone. So we're just going to do the lateral area formula, which is pi r l. So pi times my radius, which is 34 divided by 2, a 17, times my slant height, which is 20. And this is just specifically for the cone. If I do 20 times 17, I get a 340 pi. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the surface area of the cylinder. Now it really helps if you understand the cylinder or the surface area formulas, because here um, on the cylinder, we can touch the lateral area in just one of the bases, not both bases. So instead of using the formula 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h, we're just going to use pi r squared plus 2 pi r h because I can only touch one of the bases, so I'm only going to find the area of one of the bases. So pi times 17 squared plus 2 pi times 17 times the height of the cylinder, which is 12. So if I do a 17 squared, that's a 289, plus a 2 times 17 times 12, I get a 697 pi. And then we are going to add these two surface areas together. So a 697 plus a 340 is equal to a 1037 pi. And then we can go ahead and we can uh, find the rounded version as well by actually multiplying by pi in my calculator to get approximately 3,257.83 meters squared. So if I asked you for exact, you would do the 1,037 pi answer. If I asked it for you rounded, that would be your answer. Um, so now we're also going to do the volume. Um, in order to do the volume of a uh, cone, I will need the height. So I'm going to need to use the Pythagorean theorem with the 20 and the 17. So doing a 20 squared minus a 17 squared, I wind up with the square root of 111 being my height. So now for the volume, the volume of the cone, um, we don't have to worry about surfaces that we cannot touch for volume. It's pretty simple. We just take the volume of each of these figures and we add it together. So I have a one third pi times my radius of 17 squared times the square root of 111. I'm not going to have you do the exact for this one. Um, so I'm going to do the square root of 111 times 17 squared times pi times one third or divided by three is the same thing. And I get a 3,188.51. And then I'm gonna do the volume of the cylinder, which is gonna be pi r squared h, so pi 17 squared times 12. And that is approximately equal to a 17 squared times a 12 times a pi comes out to be about a 1,080, or sorry, a 
0.04 meters cubed. I have our meters cubed up here. And then we just add them together. So my volume comes out to be, if I add those two together, a 14,083.55 meters cubed. All right, so that is volume and surface area of that first one. So we're gonna move on to the next one. And the next one we have a, um, a hemisphere and a cone. Um, on both of those, we cannot touch the base. So um, I'm gonna first do the surface area of the cone. And since I cannot touch the base, that means I'm only just gonna be doing the lateral area of my cone. So that's pi RL. So pi times, uh, my radius is nine divided by two, so that's a 4.5. Times my slant height of that cone, which is 13. So doing a 4.5 times a 13, that's a 58.5 pi. So now I'm going to do the surface area of the hemisphere. Okay. And so the surface area formula for a hemisphere is 3 pi r squared. But that includes the base. So I'm going to do 3 pi times 4.5 squared. But then I need to subtract the area of the base because I cannot touch physically touch that. So pi times 4.5 square. So I wind up with a 4.5 squared times a 3 minus a 4.5 squared. So I wind up with a 40.5 pi. And then I add these two together. So a 40.5 plus a 58.5 and I wind up with the surface area being a 99 pi. This would be the exact format. If I wanted to round, I'd multiply by pi to get a 311.02 meters squared. Okay, so now volume is super simple. I just take the volume of each of these figures and add them together. So the volume of my cone is going to be one third pi r squared h I need to find the height so I'm going to use that 13 and the 4.5 to help me find the height using the Pythagorean theorem a 13 squared minus a 4.5 squared and then I take the square root of that um, and we're just going to round right now it's approximately 12.2. Okay, so going in and multiplying this all out, a 4.5 squared times a 12.2 times a pi times a one third or divided by three is the same thing as a 258.71. And then I'm gonna take the volume of the hemisphere And that's going to be a two thirds pi r cubed. Okay, so a 4.5 cubed times a pi times a two thirds leaves me with approximately 190.85 and then I add these two together to get my final answer, which is 449.56 meters cubed.
All right, moving on. Okay, so for this next one, I have a hemisphere and a cylinder. Um, let's work on surface area first. Surface area of the hemisphere. Again, this is just what I can touch. I can only touch the outside. So I'm going to use the normal hemisphere formula, 3 pi r squared. So 3 pi and then my radius is 11. But then I can't touch the base of that sphere or hemisphere, so I'm going to subtract the pi or the area of the base, which is pi times 11 squared. So I wind up with 11 squared times a 3 minus an 11 squared is a 242 pi. Now working on the cylinder, I can only touch one base. So instead of doing 2 pi r squared, I'm going to just do pi r squared. So pi times 11 squared and then plus a 2 pi r h, so 2 pi times 11. And then my h, um, this height of this hemisphere is 11. So if I do 45 minus an 11, that gives me the height of the cylinder to be 34. So an 11 squared plus a 2 times an 11 times a 34. I wind up with an 869 pi. And then I add those two together to get my total surface area, which is this. And I'm going to do a rounded version as well. So multiplying by pi, I wind up with this. Working on volume now. The volume of the hemisphere. Um, I just take the normal volume, so that's two thirds pi r cubed, so pi times 11 cubed. So an 11 cubed times a two thirds comes out to be an 887 and one-third pi. And then I do the volume of my cylinder, which is equal to pi 11 squared times 34. So that's 4,114 pi. And then I add them together to get my total volume, which is approximately equal to 15,712.15 feet cubed. Okay, so we are going to continue the rest of this video in another, um, or the, we're going to continue the rest of this lesson in another video, so please go to the next video.